We move to 425 p.m. Eastern. The New York Jets, 4 and 5, 2 and 2 on the road at Buffalo Bills, 5 and 5, 4 and 2 at home. Highmark Stadium, Orchard Park, New York, 40 Fahrenheit, uh, mostly cloudy, 12 miles per hour. I the the fading the Bills has been the best angle I've had this season. It's just continually working, even when it shouldn't. Like the the Bucks should not have covered in Buffalo. I mean, that was just ridiculous. Those last the touchdown and then the, the two point convert was just you know so fluky. But the Bills have real problems. Real problems. Now, does that mean that you wanted back Zach Wilson against them? Uh, you know, let's uh discuss here. Uh Jets, Bills, at what point uh and, and you know Something's wrong with Josh Allen, man. He just you can see it in his face. And, and is it is it an injured shoulder? I mean, what the hell is it? But he doesn't have it. But the line has been moving towards Buffalo. Uh actually it hasn't here at Pinnacle. I didn't realize it opened up at eight at Pinnacle. It only lasted there for three minutes before it went to seven and a half. The Buffalo minus seven and a half is so this has moved to seven. So the market's moving towards the Jets. You know. I, God, it's hard to back the Jets in any form whatsoever. From a total perspective here, we have this at 40 and a half at Penny. This is where it opened at 40 and a half. There's been a four cent move towards the under. And then from a cash flow perspective here, we have 49% of the tickets, 44% of the cash on Buffalo. So it's pretty even. Then you have 95% of the tickets and 96% of the cash on the under. Ninety, I mean, that's a ton. Uh, Jets coming off that 16-12 loss at Vegas. Uh, their offense was able to move the ball at times. They finished with 365 total yards, but they struggled when it mattered most. Uh, only one appearance in the red zone. Couldn't score TD then. They have now, the New York Jets, they have now failed to score a touchdown on their last 36 drives. 36 straight drives zero touchdowns. They're far and away the worst red zone team in the league. A 22.73% of TD. They scored TDs on 22.73% of red zone drives. That's 10% worse than the next worst, which is the Titans. Uh, Zach Wilson, 23 of 39 for 263 yards in a pick. Also ran four for 54. Brees Hall struggled on the ground, 13 carries for 28 yards. Did catch three for 47. Garrett Wilson caught nine for 93. The defense did its best to keep them in it. Held the Raiders to just 272 total yards. Held them to 515 on third down. The Jets' D has struggled at times on third down, uh, and it surprises me, but uh, they're just 23rd in the league, allowing opponents to convert 44.6% of opportunities. The pass rush got three sacks, seven quarterback hits. The Jets' red zone defense is fifth in the NFL, allowing TDs just 44% of the time. Uh, Jordan Whitehead had a pick. Uh, offensive tackle Dwayne Brown and defensive back Justin Hardy are both eligible to return from IR this week. Not sure if they will, uh, but they're eligible. The Bills are on a short week after an ugly 24-22 home loss to the Broncos on Monday night. They inexplicably had 12 men on the field for the game-ending missed field goal by Will Lutz. I mean, it's just absolutely nuts that you could make a mistake in that crucial moment. Penalty gave Lutz, Lutz another chance and he nailed it. Defending their AFC East title. I mean, we can forget about that. Now, now we don't even know if they're going to make the playoffs. Uh, the offense has not scored 26 or more points, six straight games. I mean, this is the matches Buffalo's worst stretch since Allen's rookie season, 2018. And so they fire Ken Dorsey today. Offensive coordinator fired Josh Allen looked bad, man. 15 to 26 for 177 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. And he lost a fumble. I remember when he was starting out his career and I would be supporting him. And and, and though these were the lines he was putting together. I was like, no, wait, wait. And now he's back to these horrific uh, stat lines. I mean, he's uh, turned the ball in every game this year except for two. He's thrown an interception in six straight games. Gabe Davis led receivers with two catches for 56 yards. Stephon Diggs was held to three for 34. How long is it before Stephon Diggs uh, loses it? Probably already has. We just don't know about it. James Cook ran 12 times for 109 yards. He also fumbled twice, losing one of them. Three for eight on third down. When was the last time a Buffalo Bills team only had eight third down opportunities? The defense played okay, but they couldn't get the Broncos off the field. Denver was eight of 19 on third down. Buffalo's 19th on third down, allowing conversions 41.5% of the time. Denver held on to the ball for 37 minutes and 21 seconds. We've been watching Buffalo's defense defensive statistics fall apart and we know why it's no surprise you lose Matt Milano and Tredavious White long term Daquan Jones is eligible eligible to return this week and we know Micah Hyde I mean when you take those guys out of the defense of course they're not going to cover big spreads of course they can't you know get their offense on the field uh, they got pressure on Wilson they did sack him four times and hit him eight times this one is fascinating very excited to talk about it take it away Troy Jets Bills Highmark Stadium 
These are the two reasons I'm unprofitable on the show this week. The last two games of the week, the Jets, I lost. The Bills, I lost. So I watched these games very extensively. And, you know, even though I didn't come profitable on the show, luckily, you know, I made out some profit uh, personally because of, the, you know, some bigger bets on the Niners and the Browns. But that doesn't let these two off the hook. On this pa- on paper, again, I can't help but feel like this is a Bill spot, just like it was last week. This Jets team is so bad on so many levels. Zach Wilson, he's definitely incompetent at this point. He's not getting no help from his offensive line, which is 30th in pass blocking and the bottom quartile of the run blocking category. And how about these coaches? Why didn't they get any? I can't believe Nathaniel Hackett's still calling plays. The second half of the Jets game, <clears throat> they had, they had uh, 13 first down opportunities. They passed the ball on all 13 of them. They did not run the ball on first time on first down one time in the second half. And in the second half in general, they had 28 passes and two runs. That is incredible when you talk about they were playing against the Raiders who've been gashed on the ground week after week, yet they come in with a game plan with an incompetent quarterback that they know is struggling, that they know cannot perform, and they don't run the ball. I know that they they the times they did run the ball, they weren't that effective, but you can't abandon that. Uh, you have to continue to run the ball. The fact that you haven't scored touchdowns and you're running this type of offense with the skill you have and the defense you have is unacceptable. I can't believe there hasn't been any changes. It's a quarterback. Someone's got to get fired. I don't know who it is. If it's a player, if it's a coach, somebody's got to go. <clears throat> we got to start cutting slack to this Jets offense because of that. Uh, you know, it's hard to say where the Jets are at because I feel like they're being led down. It's the blind leading the blind. And the Bills, they just continue to sputter, unforced mistakes, and a little bit of misleading, right, uh, in my opinion. Four turnovers, a fumble on the first play. A drop pass in the red zone to turn into an interception on the second drive. You take all the drop passes out, he's now 20 for 26 and one interception. The one, the one interception he had was bad, and you could arguably say he threw another uh, turnover-worthy play that I remember specifically being yeah, feeling lucky that he didn't. Uh, they had an unforced fumble on a handoff. They marched the ball 40 yards downfield on three plays, running the ball. Then they try to run the ball again, unforced fumble, you know, Josh Allen just drops the ball in the exchange. He didn't even give James Cook a chance. Uh, Drops the ball. Cook kicks it out, recovered by the defense. You can't cap those things. You're right. It's just something about this team. It just doesn't look right. There's something missing. Um, I don't know what it is. They're still grading out very, very high in the offensive categories. And I could see it. Like they, They ran the ball for over seven and a half yards per carry but they didn't run the ball damn near at all in the beginning of the game. Like they just put it in Josh Allen's hands and maybe that's the defensive game plan. You just, you just let the bills drop back to pass. I, I don't understand what's going on. It's very hard to put my hand down with this bills team. I can't back any sides of this. I won't be mentally in the right place, win or lose. <laughs> I, I'd rather just not do it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Because both sides what... look appealing at the same time. Like, well, I'm going to do this. If Micah Hyde returns, I'm going to be on the Bills. If Daquan returns, I might be on the Bills. If they both return, I'm definitely going to be on the Bills. If neither of them return, I still find it hard to back the Jets. Now, you know, it's my fault. I've been losing backing them. So I have that bias. There's my guy, Big Show Picks in the house. So that's my thing. If if they can fortify defensively. I mean, I just don't know. I, I guess I got to sit with it a little longer. I, I can't comprehend how bad Josh Allen was last week. I can't. I don't get it. And, you know, Dennis talked about what was going to happen with Sertan defending uh, Stefan Diggs. And he said in the chat that this similar thing could happen with Sauce defending Stefan Diggs. But. I've just never seen Josh Allen look so bad before. And I mean, the the Broncos weren't even defending the run either. They had a, they had, they were definitely putting a lot of attention on Diggs. Go back and watch. You'll see a backer dropping under Diggs almost on every route. And they just complete disregard for the run. Oh, you want to run it? Gash us for 20 yards. Okay. You'll eventually pass the ball and fuck up. That's what the Broncos defensive game plan was. Seven is, is tricky, but. The Broncos scored two touchdown passes. How many touchdown passes are the Jets going to score in this game? 
<laughs> if the answer is zero, well, then why can't the Bills cover this if they get Micah Hyde back? Daquan's not quite as important as Micah Hyde. So c- clearly the market's moving for a reason. I'm not going to move on the Bills, but but if, if I can get some fortification on this defense that desperately needs it, and if the Jets are going to continue to let Zach Wilson drop back the pass more than run, like, come on, man, it's got to be the Bills. How, how could you trust this Jets team at all? I mean, you could say the same thing about the Bills, but I, I think that this is um, at least they made at least they made a change. They fired their offensive coordinator. He was clearly out of the realm of reality yesterday, too. Like, there's a reason they fired him. 100%. They, they should have fired Nathaniel Hackett as well, or Robert Sala. Let him go. This is fucked up. What's going on? I think it's going to be a fun, fun spot. Um, uh, Dennis Garcia says, Bill's got backdoor against Tampa. It was ridiculous that Tampa covered that one. He says uh, So they either win by margin or lose outright. So he laid it because that's more likely outcome. You know, I, I, I just want to know. I just need one of those guys back, and I move on the Bills. So I'm set. Michael yeah, Rance, that's a great player, though. Rance brings up the, the the special teams punt coverage. That's a special special player returning that football. He's he's definitely uh, on another level. Devin Hester esque. Harold says Bills have issues. Jets can't score. He'll pass. Uh, I'm interested. I'm very interested in the Bills. And there's Damon Santori. I thought there was five of us left. I didn't realize that's why he was so upset in the live stream. He says his soul is missing. Oh, no, David. No, what, about the, what about the total in this? If we don't think the Jets can score and the Bills defense at least looked representative against the Broncos. When, like Dennis says, when was the last time a Bills total was at a, a 40? I mean, it's just, it's just. Let's I mean, if the, if the Bills get uh, hot and, and look, this Bills defense does not look good. In fact, you know, here you, go. Here I, you go, Jimmy. Here you go. I mean, this is just under 43. I mean, how long can I extend this out? Uh, the under is undefeated, 3 and 0, under 43 and a half. You put a fit 44 on there. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely makes sense. I feel like an under maybe, maybe a good look. I, I don't, uh, I'm gonna, the, the issue, I need to know if Bills can have some sort of fortification defensively. And, and this Bills offense needs to, to get right. They need a couple spots where they roll here, you know, back to back home games here. I know it's a short week. I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested in Bills. So I, I've locked it in. If Micah comes back, I'm on him. If Daquan comes back, I may be on them. But I'm not looking at the Jets here. I, I think that the Bills have the opportunity to get right here. Let's move 